This is Nicole Elena here, and welcome to Ascension. So, I was told I needed to be a little bit more, um, let's, let me just tell you who told me. My significant other said, hey, um, you need to plan things out. You need to make sure that when you do this, you write it all out. Well, sometimes it's, it's not that easy. Sometimes when you feel compelled to do something, sometimes it's very impromptu. So... I'm very impromptu today, and I just want to hit on a couple things just to get me started on a fabulous Friday. So, now, as we all have been bombarded with the pandemic, very stressful time for a lot of people, very overwhelming for a lot of people, and overwhelming for adults, for children, for businesses, everything is so topsy turkey. Well, let me just tell you a little bit about Ascension and why I created Ascension. Now, this channel that I have here on YouTube was originally started as more fitness. And it is it evolved into a little bit more when it comes to mind, body, and soul. Um, that's been the focus from the very beginning. But um, it has now evolved, this point I'm trying to get to, to a little bit more than um, just fitness. Um, and now mind, body, and soul, it's kind of elevated to the next level. Um, today, I want to talk to you about what is your why? why? You know, what is compelling you to do more in your life? Um, the reason why I mentioned the pandemic is because this is the most opportune time to really begin to do those things that you've always wanted to do in life. And I think for the sake of even speaking about the pandemic, um, it has given all of us a, a reason to kind of look back at ourselves and look back at the people in our lives and reflect on some things that we may need to change in our lives. Um, and how we can improve ourselves now with us all, of course, being stuck in the house and um, just kind of limited in what we can do outside in the world. This is a time for us to really expand on our talents and just become a little bit more involved with ourselves, improving ourselves. I can't speak for everybody else, but I know that I am here for more than just to pay bills, take care of the kids, uh, take care of my mother, um, and just be a significant other. I, I have talents, I have things that, I, that have been uh, instilled in me since my creation. And for me, it is important to share these talents, to share these gifts with the world. So today, I want you to focus on what is your why. And not just today, even going forward, focus on what I need to do with my talent. What do I need to do? This is the perfect time to improve yourself. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to do for years, you know, use this time to do that. So that is just one thing I wanted to talk about. The other thing is um, kind of a spinoff on that, and it, it is, and it is the whole concept of uh, manifestation. Now, I don't want to get too deep into it just yet because, again, this is just the first day, and I'm doing this impromptu discussion. And I hope you have your coffee with me, uh, with you, just like I have with me. But. Um, Manifestation is something more than what you can fathom in your mind. Manifestation is bringing those things that you want so bad in your life, bringing them, speaking life into them, and making them happen. Manifestation is so much more. It, there's no spell to it. It's not magic. It is the universe responding to you. That's what it is. There's no magic about it. It's magical, but there's nothing evil about it. There's, It's not 
uh, witchcraft or, you know, and, and people like to use witchcraft as a, a negative connotation, but, and I, I probably shouldn't even say witchcraft, but let me just say, for the sake of argument, that it's nothing, period. It's nothing negative about it. Manifestation is you speaking things into existence, what you are really needing, what you are really wanting, what you desire in your life. This is all real. This is so real, so truthful. And I want you to remember, as long as you live, that you can have exactly what you desire in life. As long as there is nothing negative behind it. You understand what I'm saying? So the things that you desire in life, like you want a bigger house or you want a nice house or you want more money in the bank. Those are things that are, uh, they're real. You want a good husband, you want a good wife. You want your children to do the right thing. You have to make sure that there is, your manifestation that it is, that there's nothing coming. Um, that w what you want, it's coming for, from a real positive and truthful place. That there's no negativity behind that. That's how it comes to pass. Um, and, and let me go a little deeper with it. Let me just go a little bit deeper with it. Your manifestation, there it has a lot to do with where you are, your place in the world right now. Like where your mindset, how you feel about others, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your life. Manifestation cannot come from a dark place. Manifestation has to come from a place of love, of hope, of peace, of life. That's how you make it happen. I'm sure that, um, well, some of you probably have heard of the secret. Well, the secret isn't so much of a secret. It's and, and again, for the sake of argument, it may be a secret to people who don't understand it. But once you begin to understand manifestation, once you begin to understand that you can speak things into the universe and they come to you, it's not a secret. It's very easy. Everything depends on you and where you are. Have you atoned? Or some of the things that have happened in your past? Have you made some things right? Have you forgiven? Have you, are you at peace? Are you, have you left those things behind you? Because if you're sitting there and you really want some things to come into your life and they're not happening for you, I can assure you that they're not happening for you because of where you are. Everything starts with you. It starts with where you are in your journey. Let's talk about happiness, okay? Happiness is determined by you. Your happiness is about you. That's why it's your, you. If you want happiness, you have to get that happiness. And you can't blame anybody else for you being unhappy. You can't blame the job. Well, you can, but it doesn't make sense. If you are not happy where you are in life, guess who can change that? You. I'll use myself for an example. For years, I was blaming ex, you know, for how he ruined my life. He did this, he did that. So guess what? I chose him. I chose him. I had a choice in the matter. I can't blame him for what he did. He's responsible for his own actions, and I'm responsible for mine. So take responsibility for your life. Take responsibility for where you are in your life. And if you're not happy with it, then change it. Manifest something real. 
manifest what you want and it'll come to you this is Nicole Elena here welcome to my channel Ascension and Ascension is all about creating a better life for you and the people around you ascending to the next level to a higher level Come back this evening. Can't wait to see you again.